Well, greetings and hello there, everybody. It's me, your beloved Star Wars dad, Nooch Good, and we are here again with Who Do They Counter and Who Counters Them, our ongoing series today. We're looking at the Veers and Iden Versio Troopers, and we are, of course, focusing only on nine non-Kyber levels of Grand Arena over there when we do this, and we've taken out all the Datacrons. This is actually my third attempt recording this. Because I left, uh, first time was just kind of messy, and second time I left all the Datacrons in. And we want to look at this at, as pure without Datacrons, so this can last us a long time. And let's start right here in a place you sh really should never be. Veers, Troopers do not belong on defense. They, they should be saved for offense at all times. They are just very flexible and do a lot of work for you on offense. Defense is not a place for them to go. And I've done this. I've just got v I've got Veers, Piet, and Dark Troopers selected. And then we got other um, a Gideon... Stark and Range Trooper are the most common other characters put in that Veers team. Okay, uh, CLS crushes him. If you see a Veers team on defense, you can crush them with CLS. It's a big time overkill. Uh, and the only only reason, again, this isn't 100% is because the girlfriend or the wife is tapping on the phone because you're ignoring her and she taps it all and exits out of your win or, or, or I don't know, the dog pees on the floor and you got to put the phone down and go clean it up. Whatever. Stuff happens. The only reason these aren't 100% is because of stuff going on in life. All right. Wampa, 65%. That's not doing so bad. We got our Geos. Uh, Geos are not a good counter to the Veers Troopers here, obviously. Gas is crushing them. Uh, Wampa again at 70%. Gas, Geo, there we go. Uh, Grievous is taking care of Veers Troopers on defense. Veers Troopers are taking care of Veers Troopers on defense pretty darn well. A team to avoid Bad Batch do not perform well against the Veers Troopers on defense. And again, we've gotten rid of a... We, we have no data crowns in here. You can see even here, undergeared troopers against these Bad Batch are just crushing them, even on defense. So don't bring those Bad Batch out there to fight the troopers. Um, at one key, I'm going to mention this for all these troopers, Veers, troopers, battles, is Admiral Piet being as fast as possible and going first. When Admiral Piet goes first, he does his give everybody offense up and everybody gets um, a stack of of uh, uh, Emperor's Trap. Then they all get a 20% turn meter and boom, they're off and running to the races and good things happen for the troopers. So you got to make sure you're faster than, than Pete if you're going to do this. Hey, uh, uh, Phoenix with Captain Rex or 77% on offense. That's a good counter. Uh, Bosk Bounty Hunters. I'm surprised they're at 40% here. Uh, that's really, really high. I thought it'd be lower. Maybe Mando makes it higher, but that's not a good idea to counter Veer's troopers. Darth Revan, Admiral Radis. Uh, even look at this. Phoenix without Captain Rex on on offense are at 45.83%. Are you kidding me? Oh, uh, they're all look at that. Look at those low gear levels, man. Well, there's well, there's an even gear level right there, taking them out. Kind of. These are low, low level counters, man. These are low. Okay, that's only working. Uh, don't try that. I uh, don't try it. I don't like that. Okay, we're down to just a few battles here for these guys. There are a lot of counters to Veers Troopers, and they they just don't belong on defense. Let's go take a look at the Veers Troopers on offense. Okay, once again, we've sorted out all the Datacrons, and I've left it in there with just the, the main three on the team, of Veers, Piet, and Dark Trooper. And again, you want Piet as fast as possible to go faster than their fastest. If Piet goes first, it just makes the whole battle work, right? They're crushing Geos. They're beating Night Sisters of Marin. It's a little close, so and it's it, Marin makes this a tougher battle. You'll see later on that the, the Night Sisters without Marin, it's just a slaughter fest. Phoenix, no Captain Rex, crush it. Ewoks, crush them. Bad Batch, we mentioned if you see Bad Batch in defense, troopers are just going to crush them. Boss Bounty Hunters, this is why I was surprised Boss Bounty Hunters had wins. When I play Boss Bounty Hunters with my troopers, the Boss Bounty Hunters never get a turn. And so, you know, you just got to have Piet faster than all of them. And then just, and especially with Moff Gideon, if he does control the situation, takes away all their turn meter, they're never going to get a turn. They're going to crush those Boss Bounty Hunters. Finding some more teams, not great against Grievous, 42%. 36% is actually higher than you would expect, and 48% down here against a Darth Revan team. But the deal is, if your troopers are faster than that Darth Revan team, and faster than Darth Revan and Bass Lashan, you've got a chance to get this done. You got to get around Malak as much. You don't want to hit Malak wherever you don't have to, because he's going to fear you. But I mean, I wouldn't call this overgeared. This is actually a little bit undergeared against this Darth Revan team. Um, here is just a regular straight up. This is actually undergeared against Darth Revan here too. This is overgeared, but you can see this is undergeared. The 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 Veers troopers with Piet. If Piet goes first, and if Gideon, I think these are all gonna have Gideon in them. Yeah, you gotta have Gideon in there controlling the situation and taking away the turn meter from that Darth Revan team. If Gideon goes before anybody over here goes, 
You target, you got to get rid of Dark Trooper, or excuse me, Sith Empire Trooper first. Then you go after Bastila. Then you get rid of Darth Revan, HK. Darth Malak is last. Leave him as a solo opponent last. You'll be able to get this done. But you can see, yeah, these gear levels are pretty even. Piet goes first. Gideon goes second. He controls the situation. You're off to the races. Just target Malak last, and, and that's your best bet here. So that's kind of cool to see that. I knew that that worked. I've actually used that, and it's worked for me in the past. So uh, Phoenix with Captain Rex, that's kind of funny. It works both ways here. 67% against that. Again, you want to be faster. You want to get rid of Captain Rex as fast as you possibly can because that team without Captain Rex is easy pickings for you. There's those Night Sisters with no Marin, 94%. That's going to be easy. It should be 100, but again, girlfriend tapping on the phone is a problem in all of our lives, and it does happen from time to time. Uh, Grievous, not a good matchup. There's that bad batch again. What else we got here? Mon Mothma. You see him on Mothma, you don't have Wampa, that's fine. Bring out your troopers, crush them, grind them into dust. Uh, these, this, this, the, the, the Darth Treya team, gonna be a similar situation here. Now, one thing to note up against this Darth Treya team, and again, I don't think this is overgeared, it's about even geared, about even geared. You're gonna see Gideon in all these teams to strip the turn meter with control of the situation. You're also going to see um, low geared Savage Press. That's just a gear 13, gear 12, gear 12. When you get into like Relic Savage Presses and he's got more of the health going on, you're going to have a lot of trouble getting through that. There's a Relic 3 one, but you get Relic 5 Savage Press with a bunch of health, you're going to have a lot of trouble getting through that Savage Press and he's going to be taunting, not taunting me, whatever it is, but he'll, he'll be calling, he'll basically be taunting the entire time. You won't be able to get around him. So big, beefy Savage Press. In fact, let's do it this way. I'll bet these are bigger Savage Relic 1 Savage Press there. Relic 3. Relic 4. It's it's the Savage. Relic 7. Pay attention to that. And you've got to outspeed him for sure with your Piet and get it going. So 36%. Not that common. I have done it before. Kylo cleanup? Yes. Uh, Jabba cleanup? Yes. Finn Missouri Bliss? Yes. Again, you want to go first. You want to go first here. You want to try to get Resistance Hero Finn out as fast as you can. And if you go first and you control the situation, you're going to get a good chance to beat those Finn teams with Zori Bliss on there with your Imperial Troopers. Gas, not so much. I think we've exhausted most of the counters here. Jedi Knight Revan. I have done this one a lot also. This team does counter Jedi Knight Revan. You've just, again, you got to go first. The most important thing with Imperial Troopers is Admiral Piet going first, doing his, uh, I don't even know what his second ability is called. I think it's the second one. He gives everybody offense up and they get in for his trap. They all assist. Then Moff get and they do they assist? I think they do. No, no. He marks, sorry, he marks Dark Trooper. He gives everybody offense up. He gives everybody Emperor's trap. They all get 20% turn meter. Moff Gideon goes next. He controls the situation, strips all the turn meter over there, and you're off to the races. You can do this against Darth Revan. I've done it a lot, and you can make it work. Even look at that. Undergear troopers beating a relic Darth Revan. That's uh sorry, not beating them. Not beating them. <laughs> okay, there you go. That's a fairly even match right there. These are some undergeared. That's about even gear right there. Even gear. You're going to see a lot of Relic 8 Piets on this because Piet is needed at Relic 8 for Executor. So a lot of you guys are going to have... But, you know, you could do this battle. That that battle can be done. I think that's going to cover most of our counters here. Let's move over. Oh, there. Shock T. That's going to be... You can do that. This is actually seems low to me. That shouldn't be that difficult. Guys, speed up your Piet. Make Piet faster today, please. Uh, yeah, Old Republic, whatever. But, hey, let's go take a look at these Iden Versio teams. Now, for the Iden Versio on defense comp, all I picked was my lead of Iden Versio. The, the types of troopers you're going to see out there are going to be widely variant, and so I didn't select any troopers on defense. And you're going to see a big theme here, guys, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Um, if, if you see a Wampa with an Omicron on the other side... And it matches your gear level, you know, or higher. You're just not going to want to put that Iden Versio team on defense. Now, it may be different. The, the three traditional Wampa counters are going to be Iden Versio, Mon Mothma, and General Grievous. If you want to put all three of those out on the same wall and you think your opponent is limited beyond having Wampa for offense, then more power to you. I just generally think if you see a Wampa, you don't want to have Iden Versio out there very often. And if we want to look at defense, generally speaking, the way that Iden has a chance to counter Wampa is by having Scout Trooper in the lineup. But you can just see it here. It's all Wampa all the time. Let's let's try something here. Let's throw a Scout Trooper in there as a member. 
There you go, Scout Trooper. And let's see the Wampa battles at this point. Now Wampa goes down. I have success with this. I don't have a lot, you know, I do well with this, but you see Wampa here. If you've got Scout Trooper in, you can start causing some people some problems with their Wampa because Scout Trooper is going to apply, um, I think it's Tenacity Down and a Daze out there, or an Irresistible Daze, I think is what it is. So if you've got Scout Trooper on the Iden Versio team, that's when you might want to go back to putting her on defense. I still have success against that team, but not everybody knows how to play it, and not everybody has their Wampa modded properly. So that's one way that you can combat Wampa on defense with your Iden Versio team. Other teams that will uh, counter Iden Versio on defense, Gas is going to take her out. Celeste is not, you know, 63% is not a huge success rate against Iden Versio. Iden Versio defense without Wampa is a tough one to come overcome when you're not in Kyber range and you don't have a lot of choices. Gas is a big choice, but look at these. Grievous is only 58%. CLS is only 55%. Geos aren't working at all. Um, it's all CLS, Gas, and and and, uh, and Grievous out there. There's Darth Revan. He's gonna, he'll take it out for sure, no problem. Uh, I'm trying to find Admiral Radis does a good job, but these are not Admiral Radis. These are teams you're not gonna have on, your, on hand. So you can see that outside of Wampa, Outside of Wampa, putting Aiden on defense is going to cost your opponent a big team. Bad Batch there. That's probably the cheapest team you see here outside of Wampa. So if they don't have a Wampa, they're going to use something expensive like a CLS or a Gas or a Darth Revan against your Aiden Versio on defense. That's why people do put her on defense. I'm just saying this is this is the number one reason I I suggest Wampa as an early farm for Grand Arena with an Omicron. It's because you can crush these Iden you can crush other teams with Wampa too. We've already gone over that. But you see an Iden Versio team. She is a costly, a costly defensive team. Meaning that if you put her on defense, she's gonna cost them something. If they don't have Wampa, if you don't have Wampa and you see Iden, it's gonna cost you a big team to get through. And if you don't have a big team, you're not getting through on that day. So that's Iden Versio on defense. Let's where she sits most often. Let's go take a look at her on offense. There are a lot less battles on offense with Iden Versio, but you see here she's wiping out Geos for sure. Uh, everybody, I don't know why. Why do you put this on defense? Why is this? Why are 158 people putting this on defense? I, I don't understand. I don't understand. Okay, a lot of a lot of Geo killing here. And again, I just loaded up Aiden as leader and all the other team. There's so many team comps with troopers. I just left it wide open. And, uh, killing Ewoks. This is easy stuff. Killing Grievous. Um, uh, this is easy stuff. Where are we going? Let's get the good stuff here. Uh, Night Sisters with Marin. Not super effective against that. That's interesting. Um, let's see here. Ewoks. Uh, Phoenix with Captain Rex. Still 66%. That's not so bad. Got to get Captain Rex out again as fast as you can. Uh, Night Sisters. We're, we're getting a lot of the same comps here. Grievous. Everybody, <laughs> gee guys what teams are you seeing on defense in non-kyber levels of grand arena geos phoenix grievous ewoks well you can crush them all with Iden versus well not you crush them all but um cls 65 percent again that's not a bad little success rate against against cls there uh bad batch Iden's not doing great on offense here she's kind of doing okay um bad batch they're crushing them Aiden is performing. I would check your Aiden counters before you go out there on offense with Aiden. There's a Captain Rex counter. Again, Ezra's is not the best fit. Put Sabine in over there. That's a better a better team for you with Captain Rex. Um, killing the Bounty Hunters, as always. Imperial Troopers just crushed Bounty Hunters. 36% against Gas. That's not such a bad thing. Let's take a look at these here. See how that's going. Let's look at the uh, descending here. Undergeared Gas. Undergeared Gas. Um, there's a fully geared Gas team taking it out mostly under geared here but taking out some fully geared stuff is it more than like 10 seconds yeah three minutes that's a real battle there was the other one a real battle let's go up here and see uh one minute 32 seconds that was a slaughter and that's probably a real battle yeah so it can be done it's not really recommended because you're probably gonna lose and, and leave gas standing and yeah that's not a great counter but it can be done um da -da 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 -da. man i i that's People are not using Iden Versio. Look at this, we're down to 24 battles. Nobody's really using her on offense. Everybody's putting her on defense. And I'm just gonna recommend for you, if you've got her on defense, Scout Trooper is the way to go, guys, because otherwise Wampa is just gonna take her out and it's not gonna be a second thought. I, I really feel like people should be using her on offense more often than on defense, and it's not happening, it's the opposite. So 
maybe you use it to absorb the wampa. You put some other wampa stuff out there. I kind of get that, and I understand her as a, a wamper absorption uh, method. I, I do understand that. I'm just not, I don't know. I don't really like that. That's not a strategy that I really enjoy, but I like I like getting wins on the end and holds on defense. And um, well, you can look at it right here. It, it's just an, almost an automatic or a very good geo counter. So if you want to have a good geo counter, you don't want to use Darth Vader, Iden Versus is going to be your best, or a really good counter for that in early levels or non-kyber levels of grand arena and there you go there are your Aiden and beers troopers on offense and defense in grand arena let me know what you think maybe you got a unique one out there that i missed and you can let me know about it in comments love to hear from you guys as always have a great day i'll talk to you soon always remember nooch too good